So, Lee Roberts from Lee Bradbury. Lee, another convincing win over, win over Whitehawk, and you've managed to get one over Steve King. Good night all round, really. <laughs> yeah, no, I was pleased with the second half performance, especially, I think. Uh, first half, we looked a little bit pedestrianised, a little bit one-paced, and um, I spoke about it at half-time, you know, said demanded more from the players and, and got the players to demand more from each other. And I think uh, we passed the ball with better purpose, uh, quicker uh, purpose in the second half, and... Uh, I think that was enough to sort of get get the chances that we deserved and go on and score a couple of good goals and uh, you know it's a, it's a good win for us tonight. And we've seen before, especially with the Concord game, we managed to get the late equaliser mm. and then coming into the Saints game where it looked particularly laboured. Tonight we've obviously had the, the game a couple of days ago. It didn't look laboured at all, and it was a really good performance. Yeah, I mean we've had the lads can't believe their luck. They've had three days rest in between a game, so <laughs> you know it's a uh, it's a luxury for them at this moment in time, but. Um, you know, I've had to move players around and rest players and bring players in and out because of that. And uh, but everyone that's came in has uh, done a good job. Pedro's come in tonight again, solid. Um, you know, a clean sheet. Um, I think that's 16 clean sheets this season now and in the league. So um, you know, the team have got to take a lot of credit for that. And I just want to ask you about the injuries, Blanche and uh, obviously Nick Giardini mm. injured. Just talk me through those. Yeah, they've. Uh, oh, I think both were bad tackles. To be fair. Um, the first one, he's, he's gone right through Blanche, went right in front of the linesman. He's he's waving his flag like crazy and, and told, actually told the player the ref, that um, the ref should have sent him off. So um, obviously he's a lot closer, but uh, it was disappointing to see that tackle. But uh, the second one, it was, if I'm being honest, a harsh but fair tackle. He's got the ball, but it's the force that, that has sort of gone over um, through Nick, and uh, it's. Uh, it's a tackle that he's got both feet off the ground, but he's got the ball, so I don't know how the ref's seen that. And obviously, um, up next is going to be the uh, nice trip to Chelmsford and Essex. What are your thoughts heading into that game? Yeah, we look forward to the game. I think uh, they've turned the corner recently. Um, you know, uh, I know they lost to Bath 4-1, uh, but um, they've been indifferent. They've picked up some good results and some bad ones. Um, we need to go there and make sure we're organised and ready for that. Um, you know. We'll, we'll be doing a lot of work behind the scenes to make sure we go there and we know a lot about them. And uh, hopefully we can go there and get a result, whether that's one point or three, but we just need to keep a positive uh, point system going. And how do you actually get the lads motivated for that trip? Obviously, is it the fact that we're now one point behind Dover with two games in hand, or is it the fact that we need to be there for themselves, the team and the club? What is it? Uh, I think if they're not motivated now, they never will be. Um, to be one point behind Dover with three games in hand, and in sixth position in the league, it's it's a great position that they've got themselves into. Um, and uh, I think we don't need to get them up for it. And uh, naturally, there will be a rouse for the game. And uh, you know, I think that's that's credit to everyone in the squad, not just the team that's played tonight. Everyone sort of gets gets on with each other on, on and off the pitch, and, and really gets each other going for the game. So uh, yeah, hopefully they they continue to do that. And just finally, I, I've got to ask you. Obviously, we know that Richie Barker has been sacked today. Are, are you able to to rule yourself out? of the Ports Report job and say you'll be staying here at having a water leave? Or? Yeah, I've got I've signed a new contract for two years. Uh, Richie Barker's gone and Andy Offord's gone in there. So until that changes, you know, I, I'll see myself here for the for the long term. Brilliant. Having fun. I'd love to hear that. Lee, thank you very much. Thanks very much. Cheers, Lee. Cheers.